The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Morning, folks. Tommy O'Brien. My dad, Tom O'Brien, is on vacation this week, lucky enough. And uh, filling in for him this morning, we have our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, helping me out. Basil, how are we doing on Tuesday morning? I'm doing very well, and uh, I have to commend you on your... Uh the way you've adapted to this new medium for you, at least I know that in background you're always there at TFNN doing fantastic work, and all of a sudden you get thrust into the uh, spotlight, and I think you've handled it beautifully. Well, so I appreciate it, man, and I was excited, you know, when you'd said you'd join me today to share some of that spotlight this morning. I appreciate you doing that update. I listened to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's jump right into it on Tuesday, right? As we do every day, we talk to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, live from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Kevin, what's going on on Tuesday morning, man? Good morning, guys. Good morning, Basil. Good morning, Tommy. How morning, are you Kevin. Doing? Do you guys know each other? Have you guys chatted before on any of the programs? I'm sure you've listened to each other We've at spoken. some point. Okay, We've fantastic. We've once, but uh, this is basically our first formal meeting. Awesome. Hi, Kevin. Always listen to you, and I love your show. Good morning. Thank you very much. I, ditto. I listen to yours as well. Perfect. You guys Thank are back you. to back. We got Basil, 11 a.m. Tiger Technicians Hour, and then we jump right to swim lessons. So, Kevin, what's what's going on uh, on another volatile Tuesday morning, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, people woke up to some some different kind of news today. The 10-year yield. I mean, can you imagine? Over you know, and over. Tommy, we, we we talk about this just about every day that I'm on with you guys what's happening with the 10-year yield and its trade versus the rest of the world. And the other thing that we've talked about a couple times that looks like it's starting to come true, remember we mentioned that seasonal trade in oil, that seasonal yes. time of year that, that you're getting in oil, this late June, early July. And here it comes. Here comes some weakness in oil. Everyone's trying to figure out what it is. Well, you know, it's oversupply. It's the rig counts are rising. It's the global demand is weaker. It's, you know... Can you imagine over and over, right? There are longer? so many there are so many really variables that go into the oil trade too, which is amazing. Trying to figure it out, just like the bond trade, I'd say. You know, how many how many different factors go into how rates are moving, whether it's just in America, our country, but across the world, everything. That's right. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. There are, there are a couple of things that are going on. I think that the crude the crude trade is a very different uh, concept and a trade uh, in terms of looking at the bonds, the bond yields, and crude oil, because in crude oil, I think there's a huge, but you spoke about the oversupply, but I think there's a huge political factor, whereas if you look at, uh, I know that from the time I started here at TFNN, which is about, uh, I think it was 2002, 2003, um, I've been talking about the Japanization of our bond yields, and it was a concept that came to me way back in the late 19, I think it was a late, it was in probably late 1980s and then 1990s when I was looking at rates. And then what I, I looked at was that if I called it the Japanization of our United States bond yields, and the concept really was that at some point the United States would be under um, economic pressure and that countries seem to copy one another over a period of time, whatever For the sure. theme is, it just it's like an in, uh, infection, and that that would occur here. But the, the when you when I'm going to show a chart now that is absolutely, it's it's mind-boggling. If this is the yield, and then it goes back. Actually, I'm going to first show the bond itself, and now I'm going to show another chart. This is the U.S. I get it as a U.S. dot P, which means that it is. Um, it comes through on a different system, and I'm going to squeeze the chart closed, and you will see this is the yield. Whoops, there it is. It's an amazing trend. It goes trend. back. It is. Yeah. yeah, look at that trend. I've never seen a 30 something year trend, but even more spectacular is if I go to TYX, and that's the 30 year, and look at that. And if I squeeze this, you'll see look at that. This is the high of September of 1981. Way up at, uh, this is a continuous contract, so the prices will change, but I'm saying the high was in September. 
we call it 152. That's what it was then. And here we are, 21.59, 2.15. And look at this incredible down channel. And channels don't break uh, uh, away from the major trend unless there's, a, there's just a... What? Yeah, I was just going to say, really we're, big we're, impact we're, re somewhere. we're redefining free money every single day. My dad and I talk about it. Kevin, we talk about it, right? Free money, freer every day. You know, that's that's it's a reality we're living with. And, and it's going to be interesting to see how we come out of that world. We talk about it. So we'll see. So, so for Kevin, so, I'm, I'm the question. I'm sorry. Go you ahead and ask, ask him, I was please. just going to ask Kevin. Kevin, what would you think would be the outlier event that would turn the yield from 2.15 this is the 30 year into something that we're looking at in the fours or fives what would it's the only thing the only thing that has ever over the uh, a, a sustained period has made interest rates rise is inflation inflation inflation's got to enter the ball game here or or these bonds they have no reason remember remember if inflation comes into play then the then the Fed is out of the game because because the, the rates will rise by themselves and they'll be forced to follow along, whether they want to or not. Which, in my opinion, they don't. But, but so yep, they they've had the vacation of low inflation. Yeah. So they really haven't had to do anything. Yeah. So now, what about Tom's favorite uh, um, commodity, and that's gold. Kevin, gold I tell is you, rising. The music's Oops. coming in, Basil. Kevin, can you hang with us for one more segment? No problem. Fantastic. All right. We'll right. come back. We have the Dow down 109, uh, NASDAQ down 38, S&P down 14. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman, Kevin Hinks. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Good morning, everyone. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman, Kevin Hinks. It is Tuesday morning, July 5th. Dow is down 115. NASDAQ's down 39. S&P's down 15. Um, so, you know, I bet we could do a whole hour, right, on, on bonds and, and where we're going and where we're heading. I mean, the, the most fascinating part is just where we've been recently, even within three months, where everyone thought rates were going up. And, and somehow, you know, you can't assume you know what the market's going to do on anything, and I think that proves it, no matter what. We still have room to go where you know bonds are going up and yields are going down, which is amazing. Correct. So, Kevin, what do we have going on on the options hour today? We have volatility in the markets, and that's a learning opportunity, I like to say, for sure. Right. Well, we have, we have two great things. Number one, we are going to learn because we're going to talk more about vertical spread. Okay. We're going to go through what makes the vertical spread. We're going to kind of reteach everything start from the beginning, work through vertical spreads, all the way through to iron condors. But even more important, live on the show, we're going to release the TD Ameritrade IMX number live at 1130 Central Time, so 1230 Eastern. I love that, man. And can you go over again? I know we've talked about it, what that number is and what it says. That does. That measures. Remember, TD Ameritrade has 6.3 million retail customers. Man. That chart, that uh, measures their buying and selling over a month, whether they added the positions, whether they decreased positions, and individual names that they added. It's so cool. It's Talk about real it. data, right? Buying, selling, exactly. supply and demand. Exactly. Right. You know, we put a number on it, and we name names. Let's put it that way. That's awesome, man. So that's it. 12.30 Eastern, right in the middle of the hour, and you guys will be talking about a bunch more, I'm sure, as markets come out. Um, so, in terms of news, I mean, I know we have, you know, everything happening with, with Europe still, you know, trickling into the news. We have, you know, um, one of the leaders, right, is stepping down of the UKIP party over there. So they're still in turmoil for sure. Um, but in terms of our markets, you know, 100 points, it seems like that's not that big of a move. And it's only 1030. But we've had some high volatility the last couple of days. And it's see, see, see if we can maintain this negative in terms of how we had so much strength. Um, where do you guys see, you know, the action for today heading? Any Basil, Basil, where, where, where what well, are you expecting? Not, I, I'm expecting we got a couple of days here of weakness. I think that the V-shaped pattern that I looked at from last week has run its course to the upside for now. I'm my concern would be, you know, I talk about a single leg A to the upside with with there's no peak until you make a very sharp move up and you and start to pull back. So the the big thing for the Dow is that if it starts to break 17,600 support. That's that's not good. But I think we're coming down, and I just think it's consolidation so far. And it's interesting because the Thursday before Brexit, the market ended on a fantastic note, and then bam, it's like a, a Mack truck just hit the, the market and pulled <laughs> back. And now it's it all it's got itself straightened out, and it's gone back to where it was. So now it's just continuing normal, as I said to my subscribers this morning. So now we're back to normal. We can expect to pull back, and we can start from fresh on this pullback. So, Kevin, what what are the TD Ameritrade uh, Thinkorswim offices like at a time like this? It must be an exciting time with market action in terms of being in, in, a, in an environment like that. Yeah, you know, you know what? It's fun when I don't realize it because this is the world I've lived in most of my adult life. But when you bring someone new from the outside, they're like, man, this place is hectic. I'm like, what? It is? I oh, think yeah, about it when I see those hectic. commercials, man. There's a, there's a slice of reality there, I'm sure, you know, yeah. for it's sure. It's as close to a trading pit as you can be without being on an exchange. Let's put it that way. It's active and it's loud and it's busy. But, but in a good way, of course. Of course, man. Of course. <laughs> I mean, you want market movement and... You know, we talk about it on a number of different platforms where, you know, especially when you're dealing with options and the optionality, and that's why I like listening to the show, especially when there's days with huge action. Um, just because, you know, seeing how those premiums move and seeing the way you guys line up those hockey sticks, of course, um, really gets things done. So, Well, that's the great thing we, we can do on Swimless, and since it's a live show each day, we can take the current events aspect of what's going on in the market, like today. You know, the, uh, the TD Ameritrade IMX gets um, released right at 11.30, so we can't even say a word about it until 11.30 Central Time, 12.30 Eastern. Then we can discuss it. So 
So really, the second half of our show today, we'll spend most of it on the TD Ameritrade IMX. That's awesome. And what that means. That's awesome. Well, I will be listening for sure, man, because I want to hear all about it and decipher. And I'm sure, you know, it's people are going to be acting on that number, I'm sure. So, awesome. All right. Well, listen, we look forward to the program. Thanks for coming on, man. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Always fun talking to you guys. Great, great, great to talk to you, Basil. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, so isn't that cool, Basil, how, um, you know, they take their, their millions of traders, right? And, and right. They, they take that data and, you know, for all intensive purposes, w what a sample size to be able to take off. And, of course, samples and, you know, probabilities and distributions, that's quite a number that they're going to come out with at 1230. The, the difference is that it's not a, it is not a speculation. It is not a... Um, it is not using data to start filtering right. out and do other yeah, things. Yeah, there's no this projections, the right? Right. This no, is I'm money that's yeah. There's no pro right. It's, forma, this is the money that's no... put on the table. Yes. Correct. Yes. And that 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 is really important because I, I know whenever I give a talk, I and I happen to ask who's bullish, who's bearish. I don't say who's bullish, who's bearish. I say, in your portfolio. Yeah. How bullish are you and how bearish are you? Because that's how people that's really way. feel. And I agree, right? I mean, that's right. just the, the, the best way to get a true feeling for, for how people feel about the market, their conviction. How, how, how strong is your conviction? You might be bullish, but then when, when push comes to shove, do you have the conviction to, to initiate that position? And so or you forth. might have only bullish positions, but it might only be 15% of your portfolio. Correct. And you and think maybe that, you know, that's it, right. and, and, you know, it's just you can be biased in your own right. You can be um, skewed in your own in your own opinion. But there's a lot of ways where maybe, you know, you, you truly evaluate things before you put money at risk or when you take it off of risk. And that's where and I think that, that that's, what I, that's what I like when I, I'm listening to you and, and your dad talking and, and you, you uh your modus operandi, or I think it's probably all your life. You've always wanted to know where's the evidence. What am I looking at? I, is this emotional? Is this? Are these the facts? What am What am I looking at? For sure. And right. I think that, and I think that that makes, that makes it very important because it allows you to be a lot more objective about your positions. It's really important to just analyze things on multiple levels and analyze, you know, and just to take a look at the the data, right, and how you're perceiving the data, and that goes to many things in life trading, and of course. But and you know I'm 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 a student of my dad's for sure. Um, yep. I'm a student of yours. I'm a student of anyway. Everyone's at TFNNs as you watch it. Uh, but you can't deny that you know in patterns there's strength and that goes through life for sure. And in volume, you know I'm 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 biased of course with my dad. But you know that's that's one of those things where a volume is a trade. You know and, and it speaks to the same you know core principle at least where you're trying to use real data of of the volume of something as it's moving. We have as, yeah. Go ahead, I, I go wanted ahead. to mention to you because as we were talking, you mentioned you brought up with Kevin crude oil. Yes. So I grabbed a couple of my crude oil, crude oil charts. Okay. And I, I thought, wow, th this part, chart is, is just perfect to demonstrate to you what I was showing subscribers to my opening call. Okay. Uh, my daily my daily newsletter just the other day, and I showed this, this is the ten minute. I know that uh, Tommy and I, uh, Tommy I believe and I believe you too like to look at the ten minute chart. Yes. Yes. And I use ten minute charts all the time, and I'd shown that there was in my work. There was what I call a one-to-one -one extension. I call it the Chapman propeller shaft one-to-one -one price movement. A lot of words, but basically what it says is that you've got a move that goes straight up, you've got a fulcrum that goes sideways, and then you've got an equal proportion to the top. And that was the 10-minute, and here's the crude oil chart going to January. Same chart, but upside down. Man, oh, man. Okay, that's quite a chart. We'll take a look at that when we come back, too. And we're going to jump to our man, Lou and Nasha, as well. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman, TFNN. We will be right back in three minutes. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities and their respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. 
Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. The Dow is down 99. NASDAQ's down 35. S&P is down 16. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman. Uh, so why don't you finish up, Basil, because I saw that, that chart of the oil, and that is a pretty powerful chart, even just when you take it in perspective of, of um, where we've been and where we are right now in those formations. So the two points that I wanted to make was, one, that chart patterns, is because the chart is really a, a, a reflection of a moment in time of humans price point in other words this is what you're looking at right now the last print of the dow at 95.67 that's uh the last print of what everybody's deciding to do so patterns repeat because it's human nature just repeating and what i look at is that patterns repeating yes the 10 minute chart of the e-mini going back to i think it was, was it was back in there it is. Back on the 30th of June, and there was an extension that went from about 2061 to 2091. Then it went sideways. And what I said, that there should be a price movement. It doesn't give you the exact movement. Sometimes it's exact, but mostly it says that this could become a fulcrum for a move, a midpoint for a move to the upside. And yeah. that's exactly what we saw. So that's the pattern that we're looking at. Now, all of a sudden, look at this crude oil price. I'm going to move this little square right here, this rectangle. And you'll see that this midpoint from the high that was made back in 2008, that was July of 2008, uh, the price, and this was a continuous contract. So that, that yes. isn't always accurate. But in this case, it's 208, came down to the low of February of 2009, ran up and created this fulcrum. And it says that price prices should go down, can go down an equal amount. Actually, that'll take to the tens. I just wanted to show that the price has actually shown a very great similarity to the one we just looked at, which was on the upside. Yeah. And now we're looking at it down. It says, yep. Basically, it says that crude oil should go lower, lower yes. highs and lower lows. Yeah. I mean, that's what the chart is. And this is a monthly. That's a monthly. And it's amazing. Was, you know, a, I was just going to say we're so high off the lows that there's room to go lower, as in we're at 47 as opposed to 27. Um, you know, at 27, how much room was there to continue down, right? But now we've had well, such a, a bounce. On a percentage basis, yeah, but point basis, you look at this. Now, not only that, my, this is a chart that goes, the one was a 10-minute chart going over a period of days. This is a monthly chart going from 2008 to the current period of 2016. Yeah. But I just wanted to mention that pri prices very often 
are controlled by a human emotion and it doesn't matter the time frame the reality is that it's like a fractal it's like a little image that gets either smaller or bigger like a snowflake but it's the same pattern and that's really what yeah we're listen at. i mean fibonacci you know i believe in fibonacci i don't know how you cannot with how they exist just in terms of the ratios of the human body and simple math and and how they persist throughout throughout so many things all right let's jump I, to some yeah let's jump to some great. some college we got our man lou yes. in nashua lou hello hello how you doing doing well man how are you hi lou all right all right how you doing Bernardo? Well, thank I, you. I, so we're going to take a look at Hecla, right, Lou? Yes, I have Hecla, and I, I understand they're going to do a takeover. Or they're trying to do a bid for a takeover for another uh, company. Okay. I'm just wondering if that's going to affect the price at all. Or should I hang in there? Well, you know, I'm not the gold man as my dad is, that's for sure, man. So I wouldn't, you know, be comfortable even telling you whether to hang in there or not. I will tell you that I know that, you know, my dad took some profits on gold stocks last week just because we've had quite a run no matter what. Um, wh when did you get into Hecla? Where are you in at it? I was in about 450. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a run even in that last week, you know, and, and no matter what, you can't go around taking some profits. There could be a pullback. And if they do have rumors of any kind, and I'm not familiar with those rumors, and I'm not as piped into the gold market as my dad is, of course, um, but yeah. that can obviously affect it, and it can affect it with volatility. And if it's going up 80 cents in the last week, um, you know, that's almost 20% the stock is going up in the last week. So it can come back down. You know, it really could. Yeah. Um, Basil, do you have any take on Heckler and, and how it's set up right now? Or the market? Yeah, I'm just looking at, at news, at current news, and what this share still held, 50,000. Uh, no, the, the, I, I don't see any news. Let me, Lou, you know, I, the way I would look at this is that if Heckler's taking over another company and if gold stocks are still um, the favored vehicle because the GDX is acting very well, I, I'm with Tommy. I would say... Take a little profit off right now at 540. It's a, that's a very nice gain. That's 25 percentage gain to what you you went in at, and that says to me that you must expect a pullback, and the pullback could in fact be uh, between five dollars and twenty cents. But if that takes it out, five dollars is next, and then it can go all the way to 467. But on the monthly chart, looking at it as a longer term buy and hold. I'm inclined to say if you could keep something as a core position, you could even think maybe two thirds will be trading, but one third you want to keep. Uh, I, I think that's a way to look at it because it's had a spectacular move and it looks very good. Um, and I don't know what the result will be with the takeover. Usually you either see it immediately or maybe three, four, five months when you actually find out what the cost of the takeover is, what works, what doesn't. And that's when stocks pull back. But this is a fantastic looking chart, but it is at resistance right now. So I, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. Take something off. You could do it in two parts. You can take something off right now at 541 and then have a stop around about 520, 515. And then you've got your core position. You can always add back. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, that's that's what's nice if you can take half of it, especially when you have profits. It's just the way I look at it is you just it's it's what you're prepared for probably too like basil's talking about whether it's long term because there's going to be volatility you don't go from a buck 50 um up to you know 550 without risking you know a pullback so that's what i like to keep in mind especially when you know it went from a buck 50 to 450 you're able to get in it and make 20 percent maybe you know just keep that in mind as you as you take this position and if you want to hold it right right and congratulations what do you see for the uh, rest of the market? You think we're going to continue up higher? That was quite a move we had last week. Um, you know, it's it's. I, I'm not sure, and I, I'm really not, and and so I'm. I, I don't have conviction either way. There's just so much volatility. I think that's what you'd want to be taking advantage of more than anything. That's what I would. That's what I would look to take advantage of. Great. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right, okay. Lou. Thanks for calling, man. Okay. Yeah, bye, Lou. Bye, bye. All right, we got our man Tom in Plymouth. Tom, hello. Hey, how are you, Tommy? Doing that well, was, man. That's good. We're happy for you guys. Hopefully, everything was uh, good. Everything was fantastic. How was how was Boston on the fourth? Very nice. Fantastic. I bet. The, I bet. There was was there a bit of a breeze down your way? Because I was down in Metapoison. It was beautiful, but there was quite a strong wind. But oh, it was so nice. 
Yeah, the breeze was a little bit. Uh, they had a few little, uh, a little mishap on the two of the barges in Plymouth in the harbor last night. But, uh, oh, really? Man, yeah, it, it was okay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you know, being in Florida, I miss those cool Boston breezes during the summer because our 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 waters don't provide those cool breezes like yours does. That's for sure. Yeah, it's been fantastic up here for nice several weeks now. I can't. I well, can't you guys it. deserve it, man. You guys deserve a nice <laughs> summer for, for what you guys go through. So, Tom, what are we looking at? Well, I jumped in that D gas on Friday. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering what you think. I just uh, figured, ah, what the heck? I'll take a little shot at this thing. And That's a decent shot, time. man. So yeah. we're going to take a look at it when we come back. Uh, sure. He's going to be looking at DGAZ, which is velocity shares three times inverse of natural, natural gas, which is, uh, which is up big today. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman, and Tom from Plymouth. We'll be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by. TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Basil Chapman. We're talking to our man Tom from Plymouth, and we are looking at. No, nah, we are not talking to Tom. He dropped. That's okay. We're going to take a look at natural gas, though. 
So Basil, he wanted to look at DJ, DGAZ, which is the velocity shares three times inverse natural gas. So, you know, he's buying that, he's short natural gas, and I don't have futures, but UNG is a good indicator that's the United States natural gas. I, I, I first of all, he said he got in on Friday. I, I want to do, I don't know, I, I hope he calls back because we'll see if we get I want back to first of all congratulate him. I mean, I don't know what got him into the trade. He trades um, this a lot. He trades this a lot. He trades this. But to go he, short, he, I know he goes long. I didn't remember that he went short as well. But uh, okay. this is uh, the timing for the short position. If ever there was risk reward, that was it. Why? Because it went to a leg E in the Chapman Wave methodology. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we look for the lowest, most obvious low bar. In this case, a natural gas continuous contract made a low of 2.133 on the 27th of May, ran up in A, B, peak A, peak B in the Chapman Wave methodology, look for the lowest low bar, you immediately count each successively higher peak, and you want each peak to go alphabetically A, B, C. When it gets to D, other things can happen. Well, look what happened. It got to D, pulled back just for an, um, an inside candle. Friday, it spiked to an E. And then today it gaps down and plunges down. In fact, goes from a high of three dollars, well, two nine two point nine nine eight to today's two point eight oh six. That is a big move on yeah, the downside. Yeah, I mean that's it down what six percent on the it's day. It's down. It's down six percent. But even more important, it hasn't had a six percent move down. Yes, it's had them up, but not down uh, since. In fact, I'm going to pull this back since. Oh my goodness, since. Well, even then, that wasn't a 6% No, on the it was quite a month of, of June. It was quite a month of so, June that it had. I mean, straightforward. Up. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, And also, it coincides. Remember, we were talking about leg D, and you look for what happens at a peak D, the fourth highest peak, and lo and behold, the weekly will make a peak D. If this whole entire week, it does, uh, uh, the natural gas contract doesn't go above 2.998. If it goes to 2.999, it extends leg D. And the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, and the stochastic and the weekly are looking really good. So I would treat this as a really good short-term timing event. And I would just say to him that because he got in on Friday, it gives him some comfort because he, he could, on the day, he could make the stop the high of today, which is 2.945. And if we close anywhere under the nine period exponential moving average of 2.829, it means that he's got another day that he can keep that, either that stop or now I would lower the stop to the, the, the opening price, which was at 2.915. And I'd move it down by step. But I am going to say to him, if it gets to 2.718, I don't know how many contracts he's got. Or he, oh, he's, he's got the U. He's got the gas. triple, but I'm sure he's he's got the D G A Z. But I know. I mean, he's oh, trading DG. off the natural gas contract. So so Correct. the way so you're looking at it. Yeah. The, so what I'm looking at, it's at 7.57, up a dollar 24. That's what I was going to just mention 20%. at the end. No matter what, because he's trading the triples, getting that kind of a move in one day. Yeah, you got to treat it as a short-term trade, I think, and at least lock so in some of it. So now we go to the 120 minute chart. It's still only leg A. So I'm going to make the suggestion to him because I don't know what the position are but if he has enough to take off something to reward himself for just a perfect timing a huge event, trade on the triple yeah. and a 20 percent on a triple it could go higher but that's not the point the point is they are short-term trading vehicles yes. he got the short term he got him i'm sure he was not expecting a 20 percent. i was going to say it's almost you know everything you can hope for it's unusual right? realistically it's every, every so, perfect yeah perfect timing so take something off to pat yourself on the back reward yourself and then forget about patting yourself on the back and manage the trade with the rest i would use this vehicle it's a little different if because this vehicle can move a lot quicker than what we were Oof, looking at yeah. in continuous contract. So the low is 7.34. It doesn't sound like a big deal, 7.34, 7.61, except, folks, when you're trading these things and you're looking at your portfolio, the, the percentage is moving so quickly up and down. Yeah. It is big. And you get used to it after a while, but it's still pretty darn big. So I'm just going to say in the in uh, the natural gas uh, this inverted three times inverted contract is at the nine period moving average right now at 7.58 i would definitely take something off but i try to keep a core position and the core position doesn't have to be big because it's a core i mean the core position because this is the one that you actually want to buy you, you want to have bought and hold longer and if you're able to do that then i would the position that i took off right now i'd look to put something back 
if it did actually take out today's low, I wouldn't like if it took out today's low, but I'm just saying at 7.30 to 7.22, you might, might want to put that back because if this is peak E in the natural gas contract, it should test the uh, 2.717, 200 period exponential moving average, and that would take your, uh, what is it again, UGAZ, right? DGAZ, UGAZ. yeah. D, I keep forgetting it's the D. It's a little D, complicated, down, I know. The, yeah, down, down for gas, down yes. gas. And that would that would take it to about, and try to fill the gap. That's what it would do. It might not get to the low of uh, the 27th of 819, but I think it'll get to 803, between 799 and 803. And that's where I would take off another third of the position and then let the rest ride for a bit. I, I, that's fantastic trading. It is. I mean, no matter what, I think 20% in one day when you're trading a triple, you know, if you're not taking profits when you get that kind of move, I would be. I would say it's probably hard pressed to to be a profitable trader just in terms of the the, the move, the the power of the move. You got to take some money off there when you're that correct in that short of a period of time. Because you're treating it like an option, and I'm sure Kevin would agree that if in an option, when you get anything like a 20% gain. Uh, it, it, it is big and you can lose it so quickly that you've exactly. just got to take something off. Especially in something as volatile as natural gas recently. And then we have oil numbers tomorrow, which can, can affect the natural gas market. You know, so, so much in there. So it's Wednesday. I was just going to oh, I'm sorry. No, you know, I wasn't. I would, you're right. I, was, I always forget the Monday, so it could be pushed back till Thursday. Um, okay. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Either way, we have oil, and then of course we have the natural gas numbers, whether they're Thursday or maybe potentially Friday with the with the long weekend as well. But so if, go ahead. If you're looking at the natural, if you're looking at uh, crude oil, on my continuous crude oil chart, the 120-minute chart went from a low of 45.83 at two o'clock on the 27th of June. It ran up to six peaks high. It went to a peak F top. That's usually the sign that if you're looking at this and it goes to the six highest peak, and the MACD is turned around, the stochastic is failing, and it went to the new move to the upside without conviction. That means that the stochastic didn't confirm. Be real careful because peak Fs. Can, can take the market down very sharply. And you can see that crude oil has gone from a high at 4 o'clock on the 29th of 50, round number 50. I always look at these round numbers. So 50 was sure, a round they're number. they're powerful, it's especially trading. a round number like 50. That's that's almost as powerful as like 100, uh, right? It's yeah. got a du double whammy. Yeah. And, and you're looking at 47.03. That's a three-point, that's the deepest pullback we've had in quite some Let's time. Let's jump. Well, you know what? Uh, we have our man Tom from Tampa, and I know he wants to talk about what we're talking about. Tom, hello. Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's, what's going on? How uh, hey. happy Fourth? Happy Tuesday? Hey, happy Fourth, man! Happy uh, Fourth. I had a great one. Actually, I'm up here up on the beaches, man, in South Carolina. I thought uh, I'd give you guys a call. <laughs> good for you, man. Oh, South Carolina. Yeah. Good for you. Enjoy, enjoy some of that South Carolina weather. Well, it's you know, um, ninety percent humidity is this in Florida. Beach, Myrtle Beach area. <laughs> uh, actually, Hilton Head out here on uh, Hilton Head okay. Island. So, yeah, hey, gorgeous, Tom, we're yeah. going to come back and we're going to talk more oil, but how about we got Hedman as well for, for a while there, along with Stamkos, right? Yeah, it could, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's quite man. a core, it's those a lightning got built up. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to talk more oil. We got Basil Chapman, Tom from Tampa, Tommy O'Brien, TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. 
you get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Dow down 103, S&P down 14, NASDAQ down 41. It's interesting, Basil, you know, we've been hanging out exactly where we are. This has actually been a very tame hour in terms of 100 points down on the Dow, give or take almost 10 points, and we'll see where the day shakes up, but maybe we Absolutely. just kind of settle out. So uh, let's jump back to Tom. Tom, we're talking oil, we're talking um, the CL contract. What are, what are we looking to do? Uh, Colgate. Is Colgate ah, a short Colgate. Here? I thought it was oil. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm so piped into the oil conversation today that uh, that, that can happen, right? Hey, that's, that's, yeah, understandable there. Wow, so what are we, this is quite a chart. Um, are you in this? Wait, wait, why for the moment have I forgotten what this symbol is? I CL, used to know this CL. CL, I'm sorry, Basil. It I is should CL, tell okay, yes, yes, yes. Talking yes. to CL. CL, do we got a short here? Oh, I, I wouldn't be shorting this because this is the this is what's called the defensive, not defense like Raytheon, but the defensive area. Look at this. This is Col uh, um, Colgate right now is up 67 cents at 73.63. Procter and Gamble is when I last looked, where was Procter and Gamble? I I would I wouldn't just be shorting it right now, but I would say maybe in a week. But at this point, Procter and Gamble is up a dollar ten. You've got Clorox up. I think it was up. Uh, yep, chlor I, no, I, this is not a sector. In fact, this is a sector that is in the defensive area and it's suggesting that the market is still rolling over in certain sectors and that the defensive area is the place that fund managers want to be. Wait, have patience. I don't think it's the time. I'm sorry uh, to jump in, Tommy, but that's no, what please, what I'm Basil. Looking at. That's yeah. you know, I I love the markets and I love doing everything. Um, I love doing this show. But in terms of handing out advice, you know, you you are you are an astute investor, and I always hear love to hear what you have to say. And and so that's that's a great uh, that's some great advice, man, for sure. And and the weekly chart on something like a Chloris is only in a leg bean. If you go to CL, which is uh, this, let me just quickly view this. This is an A B C D. Yeah, this is um, either an E, but actually what's looking a, a good is that the monthly chart is in leg B. Uh, no, I would not be shorting. Um, as I say, if anything, I'd wait for a pullback and I'd, I'd be buying it. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Tom, thanks for the call, man. I hope you enjoy those beautiful beaches today and that lovely weather. All right, man. You guys have a great day. You too. All right, so we got a big day here. Basil, of course, you're coming up next. We have swim lessons, and don't forget, folks, swim lessons, they're going to be coming out 1230 Eastern with the TDA IMX indicator, the Investor Movement Index. 
An um, absolutely invaluable tool. I mean, this is like uh, like a Baron's uh, one one of those very important indicators. This is real time. That's yeah. why I think and I imagine you know terrific. I wasn't going to go into it with you know and just talk about how much, but I, I imagine that that's something that will move markets. How much so, right? But traders are going to react to news, and and that's a, that's a powerful news number. So that's yes. coming up at twelve thirty. We got our man uh, Dave uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. And, of course, uh, coming back this afternoon, I think we're going to have our man John Logan covering for my dad. Uh, Basil, thanks so much for filling in. And, of course, people, you know, you've seen Basil's charts. Uh, Basil, tell them quick about the opening call if they haven't heard because, you so know. So my opening call is a daily, a very comprehensive daily newsletter. In fact, uh, this weekend, because I had time, I, every, every moment I had that was free time, I sent out charts to show what we're looking at, why we're looking at. It must have been about 15, 16, 17 charts. But I also gave, uh, yesterday at noon, I gave an update on the uh, E-mini. And it was right here. And I said, it's arching over. You've got to be careful. I think it's going down. So you can see the result right here so it's a it's a it's a and so a for very people who, yeah data. i was just going to say basil for people who haven't tried it before you have a trader corner and that's what you're talking about you log into tfnn you can access all of these charts you're posting them all the time it's just not in the morning um and you can get a free trial try it out for 30 days basil thank you so much and uh i'm going to be listening to the tiger technicians hour coming up i appreciate it man thank you very much awesome. Tommy, and uh, good to speak with you you as well man you as well okay folks thank you so much it's been a pleasure uh we got the dow down about 100 s p's down about 15 nasdaq's down about 40 i'm sorry nasdaq's down 15 s p's down and uh i appreciate you joining me we'll be back tomorrow thanks so much folks Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.